in your rent up for the rest of the year or food okay for thanksgiving um that pretty much sums up this live i'm not reading any comments i've learned to turn my comments off so i don't see them because with a lot of stuff going on right now i really don't need any negative vibes right now i need nothing but good energy people don't realize that mental health is extremely important and you never know what you're doing to somebody when you're saying crazy things um a lot of people know lately y'all been seeing videos that especially the last video i did i was not really myself it is um really a healing moment for me i'm really trying to focus on my healing right now and a lot of people don't understand that but to each his own mental health is really real and i just want to be transparent with y'all like i'm going through a battle right now what you did was impulsive capricious and melodramatic but it was also wrong so um i'm trying to focus on my self-love i'm trying to focus on my healing journey I'm trying to focus on nothing but me right now because if i'm not together nothing else will be together if i'm not mentally okay my kids won't be okay i have never heard someone say so many wrong things one after the other consecutively in a row my whatever my life nothing will be okay so right now i am like focusing just on that but Brandy, anything right now i just need y'all to continue to send prayers positive and loving comments that's it send positive vibes prayers for me you know prayers for my children you know, mental. The devil is definitely playing on my playground. <laughs> what? So I definitely need nothing but prayer from y'all. I appreciate all the positive people, all the negative people. I ain't paying y'all no mind. I'm unplugging from social media for this weekend and just really focusing on myself. Taking me a little trip to like. Sure, Jan. Focus on me, a little me trip. And women around the world. I know a lot of people don't have the means to like get away and like be able to focus on their mental healing and like focus on their self-love. So I want to start doing something with that too, as far as like being able to provide you with the means to be able to travel somewhere by yourself. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to talk to my management team and see how I can go about providing a way for women who are like having a mental battle and having, you know, self-love don't know what that is don't know what your worth is and you just going through this battle of like trying to get up in the morning like it's been a struggle to like get up in the morning and want to push yourself to go and it's like i don't want to go i don't want to be a mama right now i don't want to be a wife right now i don't want to be nothing right now i don't want to be responsible for nothing what you talking about Willis? nothing i know it's a lot of women who may be feeling that right now but don't have the means to do so but when i tell y'all and i stress this out to y'all when you are in need of help reach out to people don't stay silent don't stay quiet because myself i don't even get on social media yesterday i unplugged myself and told my friends i love y'all but i'm unplugging right now i'm unplugging from the world i'm unplugging from everything like don't worry about me i'm good but i just need to unplug from everything like i don't want to focus on nothing i don't want to focus on nobody else like i'm always being somebody's savior i'm always being there for everybody and being there for people to come and be like oh i need this i need that and i'm always giving 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 and now my cup have run up dry <laughs> you know so even still through what i'm going through right now i'm still look i'm still on here talking about i can't wait to help single moms pay their rent i can't help to can't wait to help with the food like even through the battle that i'm fighting i'm still like i'm still going to give i'm still going to help my single moms because i can understand i've been there done that i've been a single mom before never was like on the point where i didn't have food or, or my lights was out or stuff like that like i always had a way um thank god for having a support system that i had and being able to go to work and like going to college like i still had i still was doing stuff like i got my associates my bachelor's and my master's degree while having three kids like that's the thing a lot of people say you won't graduate high school i graduated high school plus graduated college three times so it's like you can do it you just got to get up and like get the motivation find the motivation and a lot of people say well look at your kids motivation but when you depressed nothing matters your kids don't matter like yes you love your kids but it's like my kids good like my friends good everybody good 
And I'm at a point where I just feel like I'm just living, y'all. I just feel like I'm here. I feel like my body is here, but I'm not really here. I had my first son at 17, thinking I'm going to be with this man forever. Now, all three of my kids is with this one man. So I was thinking, oh, we're about to be together forever. And this is just going to be old fairy tale. That, that ain't what happened. <laughs> so I just been a mom since I was 17. So I don't know nothing else. Then I got married, then I became a wife, and I'm like, damn, now that consumed me. And I know I'm not the only woman that feel like that. Like, you just took on these tasks and these titles, and now you're that. But you got to figure out who you are outside of that. Like, who are you? Who are you? And consumed with the happiness and the way life is going, and oh, everything is good, everything is perfect. Oh, your kids are good. Oh, you gotta make sure your husband is good. Oh, you gotta make sure your your brother, your sister, your family good. And and that's me. That's me with my family. Like I'm the one that everybody comes to for anything, even on social media. I'm the one that y'all come to because I'm giving. It's a lot of people in my place that's not giving. So when it comes to me doing that, it makes me happy. It brings joy and happiness to me when I'm giving and I'm and I'm making sure that somebody kids are eating somebody kids got their lights on like it's a lot of stuff that with giving makes me whole and I've been doing that since I was a little girl I've been giving since I was a little girl my friend they had no food oh come to my house I'll get a grocery bag and, and bag up everything in my damn cabinet for my friend then she take all that down the street and my daddy be like what happened to all the food Brianna I'm like, I don't know what happened <laughs> But eventually, he caught me giving food away to my friends. But at the end of the day, I just want to let y'all know that you got to find motivation outside of your kids because they not going to always be your motivation. It's going to be times where you get up and you just like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a mom. I don't want to be a wife. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be strong. I don't want to be nothing. I don't want to be nothing. I don't want no responsibilities. I don't want to go to work. It's going to be times where you feel like that. And that's why I'm telling y'all that you have to find your motivation through something else. And right now, I love my kids to death. And I know my kids are great. My kids going to be fine. I got a daddy. I got friends. I got sisters. I got a real strong support system. And not everybody have that. But right now, I'm not even worried about being a mama. Like, for real. For real. My kids are good. I get up every morning. I get dressed. I take them to school. I make sure they do their homework, but I'm just here. My body is just here. You know, I don't know if y'all understand that or not, but I'm just here. And I'm really trying to figure out what God wants for me. What God wants for me. Because right now I feel like God's stripping away everything from me. And he like, I need your attention. And you're going to give me your attention. And I'm going to show you the way. But until you give me your full attention, your undivided attention, until my daughter comes to me. And give me her undivided attention, you won't feel so damn lost. So lost that you just. So, right now, when people be like, oh, y'all doing this, y'all doing that, ain't no y'all, it's me. <laughs> ain't no y'all, it's me. And right now, I'm trying to figure me out. I can't, right now, I'm taking and I'm unplugging and I'm not worried about no friends. I'm not worried about being nobody's sister. I'm not worried about being a daughter. I ain't worried about none of that. Right now, I gotta focus on me. On me. And people be like, oh, they got all the money in the world. When I tell y'all money don't mean a damn thing, it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. I'm great. My money is great. I'm good. They're like, damn. Like, ah, you gonna give me a break? You keep hitting me. You keep hitting me. When you gonna give me a break? You keep hitting me with something every day. Every day. I'm getting hit with something. 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 Something not going right. Whether it's personal life, business life, friends, family. It's just like, damn, God, you gonna hit me again? You gonna hit me again? I just went through this last week. Now another week I'm going through something else? Like, people don't understand. Some people do. I don't know. Maybe y'all do. But some people think, oh, because people make a certain amount of money that everything going to be perfect, everything going to go right away, nothing else matters. No, people are human. I don't give a damn if you're a billionaire. People are still human. People are still human. You can have all the money in the world and people still have emotions. And because my heart's so big, I get the worst hits in life. <laughs> 
I wish I had the people heart that was cold hearted and can be like, you know what? Cut off. I'm done with you. F you. Did it. Did. I wish I had that heart, but I don't have that heart. I was just talking to my grand yesterday and she was like, you got to start saying no to people. Do y'all know how hard that is for me? It's hard as hell for me to say no. It's extremely hard for me to say no to people. And I feel like because I don't say no to people, that is the weakness that people see in me. Because they like, oh, she real, she real weak. She got a good heart. And I just know if I tell her this good old sad story, she gonna fall for it every time. And it's just hard for me. I can't say no. It's the hardest thing ever. It's the hardest thing ever because if I... If I say no, that shit will sit on my brain forever. And I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. Okay, guys, she said that her lights is out. I got the money to help her, Lord. But dang, if I help her, I continue to be the person that she lean on. Because I'm continuing to say yes. And this person know I'm going to continue to say yes. So, God, what do I do? And when I tell y'all every day, no matter what I'm doing, no matter how busy I try to make myself, I'm still thinking about that person from last week who asked me for her light song. And I eventually give in. Hey, girl, you, you still ain't got your light bill, man. Knowing that this person can go to social services and get her lights. Um, knowing that this person can go. It's places out here that you can go get help. But for me, because I have it, it's like, gosh. That shit weighing on my soul and it ain't even my problem. And that's a lot of that's a lot of ways that people be getting me on social media. When y'all message me, y'all sob stories, I be like, dang God, this woman said her kids ain't got no food. She's sending me videos of her refrigerator. What am I about to do? And guess what? I give in again. And 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 then at the end of the year, my accountant looking at me like, girl, you done get all this damn money, man. You can't even write this shit. You can't put them people on your taxes. And I don't care. Cause I'm feel like I'm sowing a seed because I'm helping. I feel like God is using me as a vessel to help. But I can't say yes to everything. This is why my cup is running dry. Because I'm always saying yes. I'm always the one giving. I'm always the one inspiring. I'm always the one encouraging. And I ain't got nobody to do that for me. Yes, my sisters is here for me. And yes, they can say encouraging things to me. But when I say the way I give... I don't get back, I don't get back. And the one person who was able to get that to me was my mama, and she ain't here no more. She ain't here no more. The love and the understanding that I always wanted and needed, she ain't here. She ain't here. And I think that's why I was so mad at, I was mad at God for so long. Because I'm like, damn. You took the only person who understood me. You took the only person who I ain't about to get on here and cry, but it is what it is.